Hey guys, it's Chris, and today I will be kicking off my new series called Battle of the Benchmarks, where I will be putting two beast top of the line um, devices head to head in benchmarks to see which one comes out on top. Today I will be testing the quad core Galaxy S3, which is a 1.4 gigahertz quad core uh, Exynos processor, versus the Excite 7.7, which is a quad core. Uh, Tegra 3 1.5 gigahertz processor. They both have one gigabyte of RAM, so I think it will be a pretty interesting competition. So I'm going to go ahead and start off the test, and uh, it is sped up just so you guys don't have to see the whole test because that's a bit boring, and I know you guys don't want to see that all. And I have to say a couple things while this is going on. First thing, I know a lot of you guys are going to say this is unfair because it's you're comparing a tablet versus a phone, and you could argue both ways, but I think um, the CPUs themselves are pretty fairly matched. Yeah, just take the results with a grain of salt. I did run it through a couple different um, benchmarks, and the results did come out relatively even for all of them. And so let's go ahead and see what the actual results themselves are. So guys, the Toshiba Excite came out on top at 9,944. It got 4 out of 5 star rating. CPU got 6,326, which is higher than the... Uh, Galaxy S3, the GPU got 967, which is actually lower than the Galaxy S3. RAM is higher than the Galaxy S3, coming in at 2,286. And the I.O., 365, which is, I think, a bit lower than the Galaxy S3, if I do remember properly. Okay, guys, the Samsung Galaxy S3 uh, did come out under the Toshiba Excite. Uh, it got 8,581, whereas the Toshiba Excite got over 9,000. It got 3.5 stars out of 5. The CPU is really what held it back, coming in at 5,232, whereas the Toshiba Excite got over 6,000. The GPU is higher than the Toshiba Excite, coming in at 1,031. The RAM is lower than the Toshiba Excite. The, the Toshiba Excite got over 2,000, and this got 1,883. The I.O. was 4. 135, which is higher than the Toshiba Excite, so both of these devices do have their strengths and weaknesses. All in all, do I think you're going to see a huge difference while using it from day-to-day -day use? Absolutely not. Nothing you're doing on your device is so um, graphics or processor intensive that it will make a huge difference, maybe a tiny bit in gaming, but I really don't think you'll notice. So guys, Make sure you guys give this a video a like. If you liked it, comment down below what you thought of it. And subscribe because uh, you'll also get to see all my other videos. Um, also, it really helps and you'll be entered in my 400 subscriber giveaway. Alright guys, Chris from Electronics. Peace.